900,000 people come through this center each year. And we are now a gateway to the short north, so it only made sense to have artwork reflected there. We have um, about 200 pieces representing 150 artists, and they are all from central Ohio. I'm born and raised in Ohio, I'm Columbus. I um, was born and raised on the southeast side of town. I went to CCAD and uh, my freshman year I took this fashion design course. We took a field trip to one of those fabric stores, I don't know if it was Joann's or, or whatever, and I saw this one particular fabric that I saw and for some reason I said I'm going to buy this fabric and one day I'm going to do something with it. And then it kind of progressed to what you have today. The fabric that I use, um, a wide range of, of fabrics. Um, mainly it's leather and suede. Those are pretty much my base fabrics. I go through so many X-Acto blades. I pretty much make sure that I keep at least two packs on hand. The piece today that I'm working on is actually um, another commission piece. We're gonna do uh, a picture of a jazz singer. So, and he wants it to be done in just all denim. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> it's sort of a challenge, but I'm, I'm up for it. You've got to have Amina Robinson. She's one of the leading artists that came from Columbus, Ohio. The Ragonons are the long, uh, like rectangular paintings that just rag on and on. That's how she came up with the name. And this one is about Mount Vernon Avenue, which of course she grew up over on Mount Vernon Avenue. And so this street, which was one of the central avenues of the African American community earlier in the 20th century, she wanted to know it intimately and historically in ways that she knew both personally but also historically. And so you'll see in the, in the painting, there's all the characters that she identified as part of the businesses that were part of, of Mount Vernon Avenue, and then the characters, the people that were part of it. One of the great things is on the lower left corner when you face the piece, everybody needs to look for Amina herself. She painted herself in the picture. But the idea is for us to be able to keep an Amina Robinson on exhibition uh, at the convention center. This is part of our legacy as an entire community, the wonderful artists that lived here and worked here. I'm from LaGrange, Ohio. So I have lived there my entire life until recently I'm moving here to Columbus to uh, earn my MFA at CCAD, Columbus College of Art and Design. I am 73 years old. So, every time I say that, it's so hard to believe. Part of the things that I paint is absurdity. I want something, to, I want you to be surprised and maybe laugh a little. I'm, it's okay if you laugh at my work. And, and see this element like, why is this wallpaper in the sky, which, which has a level of absurdity to it. So this is, first off, this is a photograph that I took of a farm, of an Amish farm. And this is a Grant Wood painting. But I've been playing with this idea of, of bringing the sky and, and making it a wallpaper. So I kind of layered, I borrowed from Grant Wood, I borrowed from this wonderful Amish farm, and then put my own little spin to it with my, with my landscape. And it's interesting, one of my friends said the other day, like, your landscapes are so flat. Well, up where I live, it is so flat. When I grew up, I thought that's the only way land came flat. <laughs> we have a very exciting, huge art piece, a sculpture uh, done by a local artist, Matthew Moore. I have been working on this project for two years. To describe it, it is a 14-foot, three-dimensional LED head that uh, essentially allows people to go inside the back of the neck and sit down and get a three-dimensional picture of them and then when they step out, their portrait is displayed on the 14-foot hand. 
So the idea is to show welcome, uh, Columbus as a welcoming, diverse community. I think personalizing our convention center to our community was, wasn't my idea, I wish I could take credit for that, it was not my idea, but I think it was an incredible idea. I don't think there are very many, um, there, there are very many convention centers that have this, and I have a feeling that this may inspire a trend, <laughs> I, I don't know.